Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. And I know you guys probably was waiting around to see what I was going to put out next. And before I get into this, somebody left a comment and said that I sounded like Foghorn Leghorn. You know, the, the chicken from the cartoon back in the day. Uh, I don't get that, but... That's what he said. It was funny to me. It, he he tried to make it to where, you know, he was trying to say he didn't want to be offensive to me. I didn't take offense to it at all. I thought it was funny. I mean, I've been called worse. Um, I've been called a fuck nigga, a bitch ass nigga, a puss ass nigga. Um, and I apologize if anybody's offended by the N word I'm using, but, you know... I'm just describing what somebody called me before, so it is what it is, man. So no, no offense taken. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do first. All right, so yesterday, let me give y'all what I wore yesterday. This is a fragrance I already talked about. This is a fragrance I already talked about before. <clears throat> and I have worn this. And every time I wear it, which is yesterday was the second time I wore it, I got compliments off of it. And this is a pretty damn good summer and springtime fragrance. And it is from Kenneth Cole. And it is Kenneth Cole Blue. And to me, this is probably my favorite Kenneth Cole fragrance so far. And I have probably, I don't know, like all together, maybe three or four, I think. Uh, but this one is probably my favorite, hands down. I get compliments from uh, my kids, um, their cousins. Um, I got compliments at work. So, this inexpensive fragrance you can find at Ross, uh, TJ Maxx, Bells, Burlington, places like that. And it's pretty cheap. I think it was between, I want to say, 15 to 20 bucks. So, not a bad fragrance. That's what I wore yesterday. Somebody on Facebook posted that they found this fragrance, which is... Dunhill Desire or Dunhill London Desire Extreme. They found this. I don't remember what store they were at when they found it, but uh, more than likely, it probably was TJ Maxx. But um, they asked in the comment section if uh, they thought this was a good fragrance to pick up, should they get it. And it was like 15 bucks. And somebody went in his comment section and said that, and I understand he was just giving his honest opinion from his standpoint, but he actually said that um, it wasn't worth it, it smells cheap, generic, and all this kind of stuff. And what would you expect for 15 to $20? Uh, you thought you were going to get like Mancera or Creed or something like that? Uh, I don't understand people's logic sometimes. Um, I try not to go in and discourage somebody from buying something. I just give my opinion and I make sure I let them know that this is just my opinion and, you know what I'm saying, what I got out of the fragrance if I know anything about it. So I'm going to revisit it because this is one I have not worn yet but I had I have smelled it and I did a first impression on it and I actually like it it smells good to me I don't I don't know I mean everybody's taste is different uh, I also said this to a subscriber uh, to my channel 
everybody's taste is different. Everybody is susceptible to um, smell and how things perform. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand everybody's not the same, but just try your best not to discourage somebody. If somebody wants to try something, they're going to try it regardless to what we say. Uh, I try to give my honest opinion about fragrances and the performance and all that. And, you know, you go from there. Uh, first off, I got two packages yesterday. I didn't get them today because today is Sunday. Obviously, the mail don't run on Sunday. So, I went to the office and these two boxes, well, she handed me one first. And then I was getting ready to walk away from the counter and she handed me another one. So I had two packages here. Um, the first one and my little sample jar is filling up. I'm going to have to maybe find me use one of these boxes to put them in or something. But the first package, I got three samples. Uh, one is Al Haramain Night. And I already sampled all of these last night. So, now honestly speaking, Al Haramain Night kind of reminds me of Trace Nuit almost. Um, it kind of has that similar vibe to it, like that cool water. Or green Irish tweed type vibe. Well, I can't really say green Irish tweed because I've never used it, but um, it has that Tres Nui type vibe to it. But I like it. It's nice. So that was the first one. This one is a sample, and you can see I think it leaked or something. But this is Halloween X. And I've never smelled Halloween X until now. <clears throat> and it still has the same DNA of Halloween Man and Halloween Man Shot. Uh, it has uh, a better sweetness to it, if that makes sense. Like, some fragrances are just sweet and syrupy. And this one is not like that. This has like a nice vibe to it. Almost like, I'm not saying it smells like it, but One Million Lucky has that almost perfect sweetness to it. It's not too sweet. It's not under sweet. It's almost right down the middle, just right. The problem I had with One Million Lucky is it didn't perform like I thought it was going to perform. People hyped it up and said that you're going to get monster compliments from it and stuff. And I've worn it a few times. And, and uh... It just didn't do anything for me. So, I sold it. So, that's Halloween X. And the last one is Armoth Radical Blue. And I've never smelled this before. I haven't even seen this before. But it smells very, very nice. I like it. Um, I may have to look into this one, but I'm not sure because I... I posted a video yesterday, I think it was, on Facebook, and I know a lot of people, like my guy Trey Sent said he didn't have Facebook, so he couldn't see them. I posted about six, I believe it was, of my Armour fragrances that I was either selling or trading, and if anyone's interested, I will post uh, another video soon of those fragrances. And let you guys see what's up for trade or sale. Um, I really want to sell them. So if you can come up with 25 bucks, that's how much they're going for a piece. Because our moth fragrances are cheap and they run you anywhere from 20 to, depending on what it is, 30, 35 dollars. Like Club Day New Intense Man was like 35 dollars when I bought it. Um, but I'm trying to average them about 25 a piece so if anybody's interested that's what they're selling for now if you have any interesting trades i'm not trading for like no kenneth cole or 
uh, or, or uh, no Jaguar fragrances or nothing like that. I don't want any more of that kind of stuff. If I can get something, it doesn't even have to be a full hundred or uh, a full hundred ml bottle. It can be a 50 ml, and I'll trade 100 ml for something, you know, more a little more upscale. Um, if somebody has like a YSL or um, any Dua Alt or any of those Clone House fragrances, they can be the little 30 ml bottles. I will give away a, a full 100 ml bottle for one of those. And I know the price point may not match because some of those clone houses for them little 30 ml bottles, you're going to pay like 60 bucks for them. So, if anybody's willing to do something like that, then I'm cool with it. But if not, they're up for sale, 25 a piece. Um, and that's just where the price point is going to stay. I'm not coming down. I'm not going up. I'm going to try to keep it at 25 um, I have to try and make some money off of these fragrances because it's going to cost me to ship one bottle of something it's going to cost me about seven eight or nine dollars so it's not going to help me any if i sell something for ten dollars and i gotta spend eight or nine to ship it that's only making me a dollar so it's like i just gave it away for free so you gotta understand my 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 point also anyway next up is something that i ordered and you guys can remember I talked about the Mugler cologne that I bought, that big bottle of it. Um, and most of it leaked out during shipping. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, I was looking for more. And every time I found it on Facebook, people are always trying to be stingy with their stuff, man. They be wanting the most ridiculous trades, the most ridiculous prices for this stuff. And so I actually, uh, somebody actually messaged me in, on Facebook Messenger and let me know that somebody was selling a 100 ml bottle. I think it was like 30, I want to say 34, 50 or 35. It was like 35 bucks, something like that for 100 ml. And just to appease one person that always likes to try and correct me when I say something about a fragrance. Um, when I mention Mugler Cologne, they jumped in the comment section, and I'm <clears throat> pretty sure you guys are going to know who it is. Um, I'm going to say his name this time. It's uh, Mr. Shavathon. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have uh, gotten messages from him. Um, he's pretty persistent when it comes to what he's doing. And he commented and said that Mugler Cologne is now called Come Together. In which I really didn't give a shit what it was called. Um, I just know that it still says Mugler Cologne at the top. And that's what I was looking for. Yes, it does say Come Together on the new reformulation. So, here it is. Come Together. Um, and like I said, I like Mugler Cologne. I don't care... If it's been reformulated, I don't care that it doesn't perform like you guys remember it performing. I'm new to a lot of these fragrances, so personally speaking, this is my first time besides the little sample that I did get jumping into this fragrance. And I think it smells very, very nice. It's very clean, very fresh, very soapy, straight out of the shower type scent. Uh, smells like a high-end or upscale type soap um this is a 100 ml bottle and i'm cool with this this is more than enough to last me so happy that came in now next up i ended up finding this guy and i've been watching this one for a while and it used to be $19.99, 20 bucks, which really wasn't much. But I knew that a lot of people don't really deal with the house of Perry Ellis. And so 
uh, I waited and waited and waited and I saw it again and they mark I can't get the other sticker off so it had to be at least 16 15 dollars well it jumped down to 12 bucks which is what's on here now and I said the hell with it I'm gonna go ahead and get it and so this is from the house of Perry Ellis and it just says Perry Ellis <laughs> that's pretty much it guys Perry Ellis now as far as bottles are concerned with Perry Ellis they have some decent bottles I like a lot of them especially the one with uh, Perry Ellis 360 red is a nice bottle but this one is even nicer just due to the fact that it's a frosted glass I like that a lot black and white very simplistic I like that this is a light fragrance so this is very office friendly I sprayed it on my hand last night and I can slightly still smell it but it's pretty much gone so hit myself a couple more times here just to refresh I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of and just from the smell of it I think it has this in it but I'm not totally sure but it does smell similar to it it smells like Bath and Body Works smells like teak wood. That's exactly what this smells like. Yeah. It has that same similar vibe. Now, this teak wood by Bath and Body Works has a, a sweeter smell to it. But it still has that same type vibe. Of course, this one, this is going to project better than the Perry Ellis one. Because like I said, the Perry Ellis one is super, super light. Um, but that makes it more office friendly to wear to, the, to work. Uh, you can wear this in an office space. And not offend anybody. Now you probably will have to either decant some or take the bottle with you like I do. I just take the whole damn thing with me. Stick it in my bag. But um, you can take it with you and reapply throughout the day. This is one of them fragrances. Like I said, I paid $12 for it. And I don't mind reapplying. Because if it runs out fast, who cares? I paid $12 for it. Um... And I'm probably not going to buy it again. I probably won't even see another one of these again. This is probably the only one I've seen with within the time I've been going to TJ Maxx. So, not bad. Yeah. That and teak wood smell damn near uh, identical. So, that's Perry Ellis. The one in the black and white box frosted bottle and one more <clears throat> before I change videos because I'm going to give y'all a couple of videos today uh, since I'm chillaxing I need to go and try to find me something to eat a little later but um, this one is another one I picked up and I had the Bulgari Man Extreme and that one, I don't know whether it was the, the uh, what is it, the cactus or, what was it? Uh, it was something in it that gave me a headache. I didn't know what it was. I could spray one or two sprays of that on me, and my head would be pounding like somebody's tapping on a, the bass drum. But I smelled this one in a gift set. And I like this one. It's a 60 ml bottle, which is the same as the one I just got rid of. 
And I like this one way better. And this one is Bulgari Man Black Cologne. And I know a lot of people like the other uh, Bulgari Man. What is it? I can't think of the other one. But this one is nice too. It still kind of has that same DNA of the extreme version I had with a twist. It's kind of peppery. Um, very manly, masculine. I like this one. Uh, not to be worn in the heat. Uh, more of a cool or cold weather scent. Can be worn. I would wear this mostly at night. Um, more formal. Like a suit and tie. Or uh, slacks. And uh, maybe a button up or something like that. But not like t-shirt and shorts or something like nah I wouldn't do that uh weddings funerals uh maybe like a work related dinner or something like that uh this would be perfect for for situations like that um I personally wouldn't wear this to work um it's it's not that aggressive but i think it can be kind of annoying if you sprayed this on and then you were like in an elevator with somebody or in an enclosed room or something like a cubicle office space or something like i don't think people would take too kindly to smelling this if you over spray um this probably wouldn't want to go no more than about two sprays maybe three depending on where you strategically put it uh, but it's it's strong it's it's not super strong but it's strong but I like it and it doesn't give me a headache so that's a good thing so that's all I have guys uh, my two pickups were Bulgari man Black Cologne and Perry Ellis and my packages Mugler Cologne aka Come Together and my little sample bottles uh, Halloween X Al Hermain Night and Armoff radical blue so I thank you guys for sending me these and I can't even give you the names of who sent them because it doesn't say it just says banner solutions uh, just to give you guys a little bit of information this the the uh, Mugler Cologne aka come together came from Troy Brenny or Brini. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm just not good with pronunciation at times. But um just for some information, I tried to well I didn't try. I sent emails to like five or six different uh cologne companies. I think I did like um Dua I think I did Alexandria, I did, I think Coach, I did like two or three other fragrance houses, and you know, just to see if they would send me, they didn't even have to send me like a full bottle of anything, you know, like this, they can send me some samples like this, and they didn't even have to fill the thing up like that, they could just, you know, shoot a little bit in there. And sent it to me to sample. <clears throat> and that's all I was asking for. And I guess. Um, a couple of the, the companies. Asked me for my. Um, my URL. and Which is my link. Or my address to YouTube. And. They were trying to see. I guess what kind of content I had. And I guess me being low budget. You know using a camera phone. 
I don't have any backdrop. I don't have like like 50k followers or 100k followers and stuff like that. I guess I'm like too boo too ghetto for them and everybody turned me down. So uh, with that being said, I'm not even going to be a, the aggressor and try to keep going after them and trying to get them to send me stuff. It is what it is. I appreciate what you guys send me in regard. Um, definitely, you guys are a big help. You turn me on to a lot of fragrances that I would have never, ever probably gotten my hands on or smelled. Um, and a lot of stuff I, I do like. I still might not be able to afford it, but a lot of these fragrances are very nice. And just having these samples or small decants are more than enough you guys don't even have to do this but you choose to and like I told somebody the other the other day or yesterday or the day before yesterday that I appreciate everything you guys do really I do from the bottom of my heart man it means a lot to me uh, you guys and girls are the greatest um, I couldn't ask for better subscribers um, you guys go above and beyond and I try to give back the same I try to give you guys good deals good trades when I can I know some people do be asking for ridiculous stuff um, they actually be asking for stuff that I don't even have listed for a trade um, like <laughs> people are asking me about my YSL and um, my Givenchy Givenchy or however you say it fragrances stuff that I treasure that I like a lot they're asking about that and not the stuff that I'm actually trying to get rid of. And like I said from the beginning of that video, I know when I posted the stuff that I want to trade or sell, I know it's not stuff that you guys are really going to be interested in. Not everybody anyway. But that's what I'm offering. And if you don't want that, then that's what it is. I'm not getting rid of any of my, you know, better stuff. If I did that, what would be the purpose of me even buying this stuff? Um, some of that stuff I paid might not have been top dollar for it but i paid some decent money for it and i'm not just gonna give it away for you know some cheapy like cuba or something like that like i'm not gonna give ysl away for um no perry ellis or no uh you know bath and body works fragrance that's stupid to me because you guys wouldn't even do that so it is what it is um let me get ready to give you guys the next video. Um, the video I was going to do was with my son, but he actually left yesterday to go back with his mom to get ready for school starting back soon. And we were going to do a back to school, um, school friendly fragrances, and we didn't get to do it. So, show must go on. Your boy got you. I'm going to do it myself. It is what it is. Peace.